Hi there. So as I promised I'm going to show you how to unlock the bootloader of a Nokia 5.3. Now this particular model is TA1234, and it will work on TA1223, 1227 and 1229 as well. It has Android 11 installed, and that means we will have to open up the phone to perform bootloader unlock. As for how to open up the phone, you should watch the video on description, mine was already disassembled with motherboard exposed. If you don't know how to disassemble the phone, you should ask an experienced technician to help you disassemble it. Also unlocking the bootloader requires the PC. Let's power it off and get started. Once you finish phone disassembly, disconnect the battery. After you peel off the black tape on the battery you should be able to see the battery connector. Use your fingernail to disconnect it. Your phone is now ready for flashing procedure. To make the procedure much easier, we will use Linux Distro to finish bootloader unlock procedure. This particular Linux distro is Deepin 20.8. I'm not going to show you how to install Deepin on your PC. Browse to the bcurlers EDL GitHub repository on the description below, and scroll down to Linux installation section. Execute given commands one by one. At this part you should execute sudo udevadm trigger then sudo udevadm control double hyphens reload hyphen rules so you won't need to reboot your pc then execute ladder 2 python 3 commands it will take few minutes to complete so please wait patiently while waiting you can browse to my bootloader unlock topic on xda developers and download engineering abl image and Firehose Programmer. Remember to extract the Firehose Programmer file. Now we finished installation of EDL, let's back up original ABL image. Execute this command. Remember to replace the Karkal to your actual username in your command. The command is case sensitive, please type in command carefully. Once command executed, find a tweezer or any other conductive copper wire to short these two pads on your motherboard, then connect your phone to PC while keeping these two pads shorted. You may need to repeat the procedure three to four times. If you see error message, no such device it may have been disconnected. Disconnect your phone and press Ctrl C key to stop the procedure. When you repeat the procedure, remember to add the full path of Firehose Programmer and next command, then connect the phone again. Now repeat the procedure again to flash engineering ABL into ABL B partition.
Now the hardest part is over, you can perform bootloader unlock now. Disconnect the phone from PC, reconnect battery and power it on. Your phone should boot right into fastboot mode, connected to your PC. Check if your phone is detected by executing fastboot devices. Then execute fastboot flashing unlock. Confirm bootloader unlock by pressing volume down key twice, then press power key. After that, execute fast boot, flashing, unlock underline critical, then confirm again. At this point, you've finished bootloader unlock. Now you'll need to restore ABL back to what you previously backed up. Execute these three commands to restore your ABL back to original and reboot. If fastboot w reboot doesn't execute correctly, simply execute fastboot reboot. Your phone may reboot twice and tell you the data are corrupted. Simply use volume key to select factory data reset and power key to confirm. Download the stock firmware from this Android file host website. I know it says TA1229 but it will work on any Nokia 5.3 models. Extract it twice so you will get firmware files. Once you finish extract procedure, use any text editor to edit Captain Download Ubuntu.sh. Remove the second line of DB reboot bootloader and save it. After that, open a terminal window under extracted directory. Now connect your phone to PC at fast boot mode and execute dot backslash captain underline download underline ubuntu.sh here wait few minutes and your phone will reboot back to normal 